Hey, Curious here. You know, I'd like to talk about real life monsters for a moment. And an experience I had as a youth that shaped my view of how I seen the world. When I was younger, I was molested. And it was a very weird incident. Because I was a child who was informed about sex, the mechanics of sex, but I wasn't told of its dangers. Or maybe I was told in too adult a perspective. For me to understand the dangers for myself as a child. Perhaps that was the problem. I don't know. It was the mid-70s. So perhaps my parents can't be blamed for that. In any case. I was a youth who thought being mischievous was a sign of character and independence. So, I used to like fireworks. And on the West Coast, there was a number of fireworks that are illegal. So, what I would do is I would go and make backroom deals to get um, illegal fireworks, firecrackers. I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was cool. So when a man approached me and says, Yeah, I can get you your fireworks. And with that strange smile, I thought, not of being in danger, but that I was going to make a score. Well, what it was was a gardener, and that was an what that was it was um unexpected because it was a situation where you go to do something less than reputable, but what this guy had in mind. Was it the fireworks that you carry in your pocket? It was the ones you carry in your pants? And I didn't understand the reality of sex. Well, I understood its function, like I said, but I didn't really understand. I don't know. I just. I thought, it seemed like a game. I was five or six. So, it seemed like something people do. It had an air of mystery about it. Well, I went in with him to this maintenance shack. And somehow we got talking about fireworks. And he goes, well, I've got some fireworks. But first, I want to play a little game. And I don't want to get too descriptive, but what he had me do, basically, I didn't know that it was wrong. And being a game, I asked him to show me exactly what he wanted. Partly because I didn't understand, but also because I was curious. Then, it went like back and forth like that. And I guess I actually understood something that he didn't because I wanted to continue the game. I don't know. I just, these were things I heard. 
And basically, since I was there, why not? To be honest, what was going through my mind was that he would give me a lot of illegal fireworks. So, but when he started acting strangely, and I thought, oh, this might be strange, and something might get on me, I didn't want to play anymore. But then I didn't realize that he would want me to finish. So he tried to stop me and that scared me because I thought he was going to hurt me. And I started screaming so he panicked and let me go. Well, outside of the shack, we were caught by this man. And he asked him... You know, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? And I thought I had did, done something wrong. And, and then he started asking me a lot of questions. And I felt very ashamed. And, and later on, I found out that, well... That what people do of the same sex is being gay. <coughs> and believe me, from there, I never told anybody about that for a long time. Not my grandmother, who neglected to keep an eye on me. Not my parents. No one. For the longest time. But for at least into junior high school, to me, always, how I had been victimized and what homosexuality was, it's one and the same. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I must be a little upset right now. In my mind... To this day, it is still one in the same. So my views on same-sex relationships aren't exactly politically correct. Of course, as I've gotten older, I now believe that people have a right to do whatever they want to do regardless of my opinion on it. And even now, although I disagree with their view on alternate lifestyles, I can separate that from the merit of the individual. I still think they're just kinked. I don't think they're differently sexual. And... I find the politicalization in advocacy of this to be a reprehensible act. I can see the other argument, but apparently society doesn't agree with the reverse. That the paradigm of social, well how can you say it? Progressive values outweighed conservative morals and ethics in this case. I, I don't buy the diversity argument. I don't. I believe people who were fighting for race equality and general liberty, gender equality, other people. In the 60s free love era. Got things through. That I don't think are scientifically correct. People like Kinsky. Or Kinsey or whatever. But that's just my view. And I could see a lot of arguments against it. So. 
whatever. You know, I'm an atheist. I take it all with a grain of salt. And even if it's for comedy, or if somebody just is something, but they're expressing opinions, it doesn't necessarily invalidate all their opinions. I don't have a belief in heaven and hell. I'm a naturalist. I'm not really a humanist, because I sometimes have an empirical view about reality, even if it is a naturalistic one. So, empirical? I'm not sure if that's the right word. I would probably have to go look it up, but... In other words, things happen for deterministic reasons. This postmodernist thing, I, I just... <clears throat> anyway, that's what happened to me. That's what the real monsters were in my life. And it was a monster. And in a way, I learned from that. Because as much as it screwed me up, I never forgot that there were monsters. And... Well, I did kind of forget because after a friend of mine passed away and I moved away from religious thought, I deconverted, I also slid into a lifestyle where not just anti-establishment views and alternate views on morality were accepted, but so were illicit lifestyle and, well, I took a walk on the wild side. And basically, it's just, you know, coming back from that. And for a long time, I couldn't come back from that because I couldn't reconcile my naturalist belief with, and those values, with the progressive values, would seem to support everything I've seen. Uh, just degenerate depredation and everything else, you know. Uh, I've seen it all. <clears throat> crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. The way no people should live. And that enforced a lot of my views upon being an economic progressive. And why, when you're down and out, it's a dirty place to be. I don't know. But that's what happened to me. And... And that's why I'm not sure faith has anything to do with this. Except how I reconciled my view of morality away from faith. And how it still plays the dynamic in my world view. That's not a really a cognitive dissonance, dissonance, but a view that is in between those two. A third way. Perhaps a fourth way. Perhaps a fourth way that's been forgotten by society and needs to be remembered. That's why I sometimes call myself Republicus because I am the villain. Because I dare say what not be said. And I don't even dare that much anymore considering all the things I've seen Mm. YouTube is getting to be a very bad place. But in, in any case, that's my deep dark secret. And I'm going to leave a link below to the video that inspired this. And it was forwarded from a person who I'm subscribed to, but I, I think I'm going to pass her up because I, I don't want to bring her grief. 
I'm not sure if she's religious or not, and it doesn't matter. You know, I've made a couple videos, and, um, I, I think I wrote on her coattails enough, so to speak. You know, I, I don't claim another person's effort, you know. I'm not trying to ride another person's fame and then work hard for it. I'm just expressing my own views. And that's what I had to say. I made a 30 minute video of this last night and I just totally erased it because I couldn't really bring myself to talk about it. But I think it's better that I do. Because I want people to really understand when I get that little look in my eye and that little look of anger even though I really wasn't physically restrained I was assaulted and for a long time I thought I knew exactly why so I don't know call it what you want I don't even care. I've got bigger things to worry about in my life right now than my little bitty channel that no one even cares about anyway. Oh well. Public us out.